Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Amen. Praise God. Today is an awesome day. It's good to be alive. Jesus Christ is alive and well. So we need to be excited. We need to know that we serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We serve the Great I Am and the Bright and Morning Star. We serve the only God who died and rose again. The God who shed his blood, who endured the very night stripes so that you can be healed. We serve the God who is above all else. Come on, somebody get excited for King Jesus. Because we know that the word of God declares that where two or three are gathered in his name, there is there in their midst. Amen. So we know that the power and presence of an almighty God is here this evening. Yes. Of course. Praise God. Praise God. I just want to thank God for this awesome opportunity and this privilege of being able to share his word with his sons and daughters. He is truly an awesome God and his love is never ending and never failing. Amen. I want to thank Dr. Paul. I don't think he's here for this awesome opportunity. He's a spiritual father, a mentor, a teacher, a guide, a leader of our leaders. Amen. And I want to thank him for giving me this awesome opportunity of being able to stand here. At this, the crusade that we as CRC are hosting. Church, I want you to know that CRC is at the cutting edge. Amen. That we are now treading uncharted waters. And we are going with our captain, Dr. Paul, and we are going forward. So we know that this church, CRC, is the place to be. Amen. Of course. I want to thank my leader as well, my mentor, Brother Timothy Varden, for all of his guidance. Just like how Dr. Paul says he rubs us up with sandpaper. Dr. Paul, <laughs> let me tell you, he's not here, so don't go to me while talking about you. Dr. Paul doesn't rub you with sandpaper. He takes a grater and he grinds you. I think you know that. But throughout it all, I know it's been done out of love, out of compassion. And at the end of the day, he is a man that is after God's own heart. So praise be to God. And I want to thank my family and friends who are here as well. I see my friends over there that drove all the way from Newlands just to be here to watch me. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why there's handcuffs here. I'm not sure who's being arrested today. <laughs> so let's place that there. Amen. In the beginning, God created the earth and he rested. Then God created man. And he rested. Then God created woman. And since then, neither man nor God has ever rested. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Gentlemen, there was a perfect time for you. Amen. <laughs> Ladies, we love you. We appreciate you. Moms, for the sacrifice that you have made over the years for us to be standing here today. It's because of the sacrifices that you have made. That you have made together with your husbands and with your family. So thank you for that. Today I want to talk to you about a topic that I spent a lot of time dealing with God about. And I've been talking to him and I've been communicating with him. And this is what he planted into my heart. So before we go into the world, I just want you to bow your heads for a moment of prayer. Father, we come to you through the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, O oh Lord, that today we walk into the tabernacle of the Most High God. Because we've approached your name in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we walk into the holy of holies today, my God. We're not going to stand in the outer courts. We're not going to stand outside the tabernacle. But we are walking to the place right where you are, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you that for everything that was said and done. We know it's been done to glorify your holy name. So Father, forgive us for where we have faltered and failed. Forgive us for where we have missed the mark and let you down. Wash us, cleanse us, purify us, and make us whole again. Father, I bring into subjection everything which is not of you. I cancel, I curse, I bind, and I rebuke it now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that your word shall go forth like a two-edged sword, O Lord. It will pierce the hearts of your people. Give them receptive minds and receptive hearts now. But most of all, O Lord, speak in and through me today. That my God, your people shall receive directly from your throne room. We ask these mercies in thy never-failing name. Amen. 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 Today I want to talk to you about 